so now let us see an example program so we are writing a program to convert gallons into liter using the buttons and the text text boxes so for that let us first n is equal to Arial comma fourteen comma. This is to set the font, so no need to write every time. We will be placing this here and italic. Now let us create a first label. First label text is equal to. Let us say. gallons and let us pad x is equal to 25 dot grid let us say row 0 row is equal to 0 and sticky is equal to w let me copy this Paste it this time. Letters so pad 25, everything is fine. This one will give row 1. Now let us create a text box. So let us say E1 is equal to entry. a comma we can give width is equal to 25 then even dot grid row is equal to 0 column is equal to 1 let me copy this to create the second entry also control c control v e2 e2 here it is row 1 let us see what we have created until now click on ok It's taking your time <coughs> so we have created gallons and liter now let us create one more like calculate let me close this let us create a button and say calculate and give the command is equal to m say let us say m call this we will be writing it afterwards and place it in the row is equal to 2 and let us say column is equal to 1 so here we can also give the font font is equal to inside it we will be placing n same thing we will be doing here font is equal to inside the bracket we will give n we can do it for this also font is equal to n now let us see the output it will give the error because we haven't defined this one but we will be seeing how we have placed the button and the text so for now let me delete this and now look 
invalid syntax but uh, now let us see invalid syntax what is the invalid syntax so here we have missed the is equal to always type error see here gallons letters let us say close it instead of italic let us say bold and give the font to this cells apply mm, now it is okay now when we enter the values here it should be stored in a variable and make the calculations and we when we press the calculate the result should be displayed here so for that let us make some arrangements so first we should have to get the values of these entries into a variable so let us create a variable and say where one and is equal to this is integer variable type so the default will be zero now whenever we make a entry in this text variable is equal to variable one so whenever we make entry it will be stored inside this now come here when we press the button calculate it should be calling let us say command is equal to mcal and now let us define this method define mcal and now let us define one more variable where will two is equal to variable one dot get so it is getting the data and storing it in the variable two now let us create one more variable and say variable two multiplication of liters when you are converting gallons into liters it is 3.785 now this will be putting in the this entry so for that we have seen in the previous video we have the method called insert zero comma variable three hope we have successfully finished without any error now let us see the output okay So again taking its own time see here because we are giving int variable it is the default one is 0 now let us say 1 calculate see here the output is listed here because we have used e2 dot insert here let us say 12 liters click on the calculate so like this we can add any buttons like clear to clear all this one and start again we can also convert liters into gallons creating a button called clear and creating one more button called exit so instead of closing like this we will be creating button. so for that let me copy this create one more button and one more button. So this we will be saying clear and calling the method clear. Row is two, column is zero. This is three, column is one, and we don't need. We can directly say a dot destroy and this one we will say exit so now we should have to write clear let us write this 
definition m clear and we know e1 dot delete and inside that 0 comma e and d capital letters same goes to e2 0 comma e and d now let us run the program see here we have created two more buttons so let us say 33 calculate now clear everything is clear we can enter one more value calculate clear exit so we can also give like the width also for the buttons let us say width is equal to 25 width is equal to 25 width is equal to 25 and here let us say zero now run it so this one seems to be more clearer than the previous one so like this according to our requirement we can make the adjustments now it is looking way better than the previous one exit so hope you understood meet you in the next video until then keep practicing